Two years ago, I came to Brighton to fix Sharita Jones's failing soul food restaurant, and it became one of my biggest success stories. Now I'm back to check on his progress. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi, baby. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Mama's soul food joint has certainly gone up in the world. Look at the size of that. Fuck it up. But it turns out bigger doesn't necessarily mean better. Where's our standards gone? What the fuck are we doing? Has soul in the bowl become mould in the bowl? If this food mm -hmm. isn't as good as the shack, yeah. you're fucking history. Brighton, London by the sea. Loads of locals and a steady stream of hungry tourists. Nesting just a stone's throw away from the seafront is Mama Sherry's Soul Food Shack, offering classics from America's deep south. Oh, nice, nice, nice. The big soul mama, AKA nice. Sherita Jones, has raised 33 foster children, but running her first restaurant is proving a far bigger handful. It's all gonna just kinda go and fall apart. <laughs> so I don't want it to fall apart. God, it's definitely a shack on the outside anyway. Fucked up caravan. Is this it? Sharita. Sharita, Gordon, yes, good hello, to see Gordon. you. Nice to see you. This Welcome. is small and quaint. Welcome. It's quaint, it's cosy. I'll say. It's, it's, like, so walking, it's like walking into your front, front lounge. Room. Thank you. And see? that's what it's supposed to be about. Because I tend to spend all my life here, this has got to be my front room. Otherwise, when do I get to kick my feet up? So After three and a half years, despite throwing everything at this place and working seven days a week, Sharita is still in serious debt to the tune of £65,000. And who's the chef? I'm kind of the chef. <laughs> I come from a background of big mamas and all of them cook. Mm -hmm. It's called stick to your ribs, basically. Stick to your roots? Ribs! A rib, right. Stick <laughs> to your roots, to your ribs. <laughs> Mama Sherry's shack seats 40 at an extremely intimate squeeze. But yes. I am not a West Indian restaurant. But sadly for Sharita, that's not often a problem, as weekday trade is virtually non-existent. It's great at the weekends, mm -hmm. but somehow we've discovered that we're in a hole. We're just in this hole, a financial hole, that we can't claw our way out of. Mm -hmm. Have you made any money since you've been open? Nope, not a penny. Not a single penny have we made since we've been open. It's hard to put our finger on okay. why. Is it critical? I mean, yes. how, long, how long can you continue staying like this? Truthfully. Uh, truthfully, I'd say three to six months. Maximum. Maximum. So I no customers, no, life, no money. Mind your head. Right. Here it's you time go. to check out the kitchen. Okay. God. Sharita calls herself the cook, but Brian Moyo is her head chef. So who's in charge? <laughs> How you doing, dude? Right, thank you. Do you do this and all that and Paul and... Uh, I try not yeah? to. <laughs> <laughs> we don't this go in for cliches. No. So are you the head chef or are you the cook? Why? Um, I'm confused. Well, I, I was employed to come as a head chef. Right. But because of uh, problems with finances uh -huh. and things like that. So Don't let me stop you. I took a, a, a sit back. So who, do, who writes the menu? Uh, Sherita has written everything. She does uh -huh. everything, basically. So you've got a cushy job then, really, haven't you? You could say that. Uh -huh. As a chef, yes. Pretty chill. <laughs> huh? Yeah, as a chef, yes, it's pretty chill. But uh, A head chef who doesn't write the menu and only works 35 hours a week. Next, he'll be telling me he's forgotten how to cook. Here you go. We've Thank you. We've got some catfish goujons with uh -huh. hush puppy and our homemade pineapple salsa. Yours, ladies. Yes. Mm. This is uh, Laura. Laura. It's actually quite nice. Very, um, very delicate fish. And um, it's nicely fried. It's very light. Really nice. Thank you. Be back with your mains. Shake it down, bring it to my mum and mother to make it. God. For mains, my plate's piled high with a clumsy mess of ribs, spicy chicken jambalaya, and corn and bean succotash. I hope he likes it. Hmm. <laughs> Fucking hell. There's ribs. So tender. I'd have to say, it's thrown on the plate with no real care, but it tastes phenomenal. This may be the first time I actually go back to the kitchen with an empty plate. Um, 
Thank you. Bloody delicious. Thank you. And you know what? Thank you. I thought it was going to be really spicy, but no, just turned no, down no. and no. it was spot on. Thank and it you. actually made me feel like I was back at Mum's for the first time. Oh. And having oh. some home cooking. Oh. It was very good. Oh, don't get me crying. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> there are things I would change. Okay, fine. And, tweak, and I'm happy. Definitely. I'm happy to but hear about in general, that. I can't take a picture of this place. <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. Mama, mind your God. head. Mind your head. Oh God. I fed Gordon Ramsay, <laughs> and he cleaned his place. How the hell did you turn that thing off? She doesn't shut up. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. Shit. Charita's down-home style should be a unique selling point, but it ain't working. I need to go back to the kitchen and find out why. Friday, and Charita's tackling most of the day's preparation single-handedly in a desperate bid to save money. Part of this is, you know, you've got to get your hands dirty. Yeah, of course, yeah. Marinating meat, making dressings, sauces and baking are all crucial things to prepare yep. in advance of a busy service. It's just shaking off the excess. Yep. excess. But deep frying chicken wings eight hours in advance of their first booking. That can't be right. Yep. Just so why'd you cook them now? Because if you cook them off now and leave them to cool, when the order comes in, it's just a matter of picking out how many we need and they go back in and they come back up to a nice... And they don't go dry? Thing. No. Mm -mm, no. I'm beginning to suspect the good old home cooking isn't as wholesome as it could be. Mmm, they smell good. Most yeah, of it's coming from the freezer rather than the soul. Oh, so how many freezers have we got? Thirteen. Thirteen. Fuck me. By the time Brian turns up, there's not much left for him to do. So I mean, you can't really feel like your head chef if you've got Sharita in the kitchen every morning cooking the food and you come in That's and what just, I'm saying. Yeah, just you know. send it. In the sense that you're not actually really cooking, you're just coming in and putting things together. Putting things together, yes. It's, it's kind of hard, yes. Have you lost motivation? Yes. So, if Sharita's head chef's gone off the boil, I'm hoping her remaining crew of part-timers have a bit more spunk. Heading up front of house is Lauren. She arrives 10 minutes late for the evening service. 20-year-old AD seems to be more committed to his glamorous day job. So why panel beating? Uh, I don't know. It's just okay, like this. finish at half four every day. Yeah. Kitchen porter Gavin lives next door, but he appears to turn up when he feels like it. And Sharita's librarian it's husband, it's Phil, um, hot foots it back from the day job no, to become basement yes. barman and so resident so DJ. <laughs> it looks like your washer-upper. No, no way! No, I have to wash he does that as well. These and numerous other part-time staff are all members of Mama Sherry's big laid-back family. So when he's in the ship, in the middle of service, he slowed them down like fucking Michael Jackson. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck you <it>, now. <laughs> I hate to ruin a good party, but if you want to run a successful business, then the terms laid-back and professional just don't mix. It's not just about how good the food tastes, it's about how it fucking gets there as well. And that is crucial. I can't wait to see this team of jokers in action. All right, so we get going, because they're hungry. Immediately, it's clear who's the mummer in this kitchen. I'm getting you a chili pepper, because you ain't going to yeah, No, just the one. <laughs> Can I take the seeds out, at least? Sharita talks to them like they're her children, and she's the only one cooking anything from fresh. I need to start cooking up these fajitas now. OK, Sharita, all of the seconds uh, party are in. All right, OK. Two potato skins, onion rings, cornbread, two pieces. Can I get some jambalaya heated up, please? For Brian and Aidy, it's just an elaborate heating and plating up exercise. Mountains of messy food, school dinner style. A D minus, must try harder. That's hot gravy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> on hot turkey. Yep. Serves on cold plates. Yep. With cold salad. Yep. It's first. <laughs> What's he laughing at? So this is serious. You weren't going to break sweat there, were you? Okay. Oh, you were. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's about to kick off. When? There's twice as many staff as there need be. This should be an absolute breeze. But Sharita's yeah. killing herself, trying to do everything. We got everything in the basement, yeah? Everything's gone. Yeah, everything's gone. <gasps> paying two fully qualified chefs to dress and send a plate of nachos. Come on, that's a sure-fine way to break a business. 
Fucking hell, it's painful. Okay. Very, very painful. Right. Tonight, on several occasions, you're standing here, cooking away in a world of your own. Yeah. And these guys standing there just almost playing with themselves mm -hmm. because they're waiting for something from you. Mm -hmm. If you are the head chef, yes. then you're going to have to start taking the reins. Yeah. Yeah. I want to try and get through a, a busy night without pissing your pants with laughter. Two hours pure concentration mm -hmm. without laughing. Okay. And I bet you can't do it. I can do it. Are you fucking smiling already? <laughs> He's if there was ever a case of too many cooks, this is it. One of them will have to go. The pants dropped already. I said no smiling, no laughing. Okay. Serious. OK. It Set a fucking example. I'm going and to. Do not be scared to get rid of baggage. Brighton's best kept secret, Mama Sherry's soul food shack, is so well kept, it's losing a thousand pounds a week. No one it. 20 past 10 in the morning. No By day three, I've uncovered a couple of reasons why. I know it's chilled, but fucking hell, not as chilled as a snapper. Why is no one here this time in the morning? It's ridiculous. Firstly, the food's good, but it could be so much better. Where's uh, Where's Brian? Let me give you a hand. Brian? Yeah. I have no idea. He should be here Secondly, there are far too many staff, and most of them aren't pulling their weight. Late this morning. Yes, uh, About half an hour. <laughs> What'd you do to him when he's late? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I'm just going to wash up right now. So you're washing up as well? Yeah. She's in, she opens up, brings all the supplies upstairs. You should be ashamed of yourself. Brian. Sherita's next milk? task is to make yeah. a huge batch of macaroni cheese that will last her for two whole weeks. Let me just keep this going. Ah, oh, this is coming up nicely. Hot from the stove, okay, her food is irresistible. People okay, will travel so. miles yeah. to taste it. I like that. Yeah? Yeah, very nice. But like a lot of her home cooking, this lot is destined for the freezer, where its delicious texture and flavour will be lost forever. Well, you cook beautifully. Yeah. And I don't understand why you want to freeze it, okay. why it's so tasty. Well I, well, I think, I don't think I want, it's not a case of wanting No, I think to. you've got into a habit. I've gotten a habit. Which is a lazy habit. Mm. You're not lazy, because no, you no. work so bloody hard. Yeah, He's lazy. It's, it's, it's a matter of... <laughs> <laughs> He's <Okay>. definitely lazy. <laughs> if you turned up for work half an hour late in my kitchen, trust me, You'd be home for the day, looking for a new fucking job. To be honest, it's no wonder Brian's lost heart. The man's been working in the kitchen for as long as I have. But to save money, he's been sidelined. So much so, he's rarely involved in actually making any of the food. There is a kind of a method to my madness. But you're throwing it together. Um, it looks like I'm throwing it together, but no. I throw it together the exact same way every single week. So when you're not doing it, who does it? I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, that's my point. OK. <laughs> if Sharita was using Brian properly, they could ditch the freezers once and for all. And the macaroni and cheese is nearly there. That looks delicious. Yeah. I think that should go to staff food. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Does look good, doesn't it? As it stands, few customers will taste the food at its best. Sharita's thrown away her unique selling point. And boy, does she need one. It's uh, ten past one, Saturday lunchtime, and this place should be absolutely round. And there's not a soul in here. This is dire. Saturday and Sunday are your prime days for business. But like many failing restaurants, Shreet is making some classic mistakes. Poor man's meat pie. Yeah. Eight pound. Yeah. I know it's going to be good. Mm, it yeah, is. you go onto the menu here. You've got main courses at yeah. fourteen. Yeah. Fifteen pound. Mm -hmm. Why have they gone up so expensive? Um, to pay my bills. Mm -hmm. To be blunt, it was bank manager. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, accounting, and I was saying, help me, help me. How do I do this? They say you've got to raise your prices. You've got to raise your prices. Always the bank manager's solution. Yeah. Well, Put it, your prices and up. And it was it was literally down to yeah. the bank manager. Yeah. Well, he's an asshole. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's killing the business. Mm. I want to look at restructuring the menu, okay. making it a little bit shorter, okay. tweaking the portion size, All right. having less come back. 60% yep. are bones come mm -hmm. back, but it's that 40% I want to work on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the objective for every customer coming through that door is to have a starter, yeah. a mains, and a dessert. Okay. You wait and see the turnover treble if you can squeeze three courses out of them. Okay. But before we can squeeze anything out of anybody, we need customers. 
And if they're not coming to us, we've got to take Mama Sherry's finger-licking food to them. So, got the meatloaf. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, got the ribs. Yeah. OK, got the chicken. That smells amazing. Oh, it's smelling so good. So good. And who better to flaunt it than the mama herself? Don't be shy. <laughs> Whoa. I'm going to come to you since you're not coming to me. Thank you. It's all cooked fresh at Mama Cherry Soul Food Shack just around the corner there. Okay? Yeah, pretty, pretty good. This particular food is called soul food, OK? Yeah. Cooked from the soul, from the heart. Boy, she's good. A soul food evangelist. And she's out to convert the whole of Brighton. Soul food! Can I hear you all say it? Soul food! All right. Just wind her up and let her go. That's nice, isn't it? That's good. Oh. Okay. <laughs> give me some more wings. Big time. All right. Don't forget, this time it's on the house. Next yep. time they're paying you. Yep. Did you cook this? Yes, I did. There's no doubt that Shrita's a terrific cook, but she's employing Brian to do that job. And I'm beginning to realise she's wasted in the kitchen. What's it called? So Thank you. Just call me Mama. <laughs> Mama. You got it. With Saturday night service about to begin, it's time to get this shack in order. It's pretty obvious that the business is in dire straits. You know, that's real. It's real. That's the truth. Watching you guys over the last couple of days, you actually treat it like it's your fucking home. Chilled, relaxed. And this lady here, you talk to her almost as if it's your mum. Mm -hmm. And that really has to stop. If this is going to go any further, and if it doesn't work, mm. not only are you out of a business and your livelihood's gone, yeah. all of you guys are out of a fucking job. Yeah. You've got no work. Yeah. So when it's that far down, we really have to dig deep and come up with sensible ideas. Yeah. And tonight, I'm going to ask you to stay out of the kitchen. OK. You've yeah. got so much to sell. Yeah. And you, you're a fucking good cook. Thank you. So, yeah. Sharita, let him cook. I'm going to let him. I'm going to yeah. let him. I am. Good. Yeah. You have to pass the reins over now. And if you don't break away from this stove, mm -hmm. I swear to God, the business is going to close. And let them do the job it. that you fucking pay the money for. OK. Yeah? Yep. I'm going to go put some makeup on, because <laughs> I'm going downstairs. Sharita Street Hustling has secured a fully booked ration tonight. If we're going to get through it, we need to get this kitchen Super working like an efficient, okay. well-oiled machine. Eddie, are you doing the that now, yeah? Good. That's fantastic. <laughs> Time to whip up a bit of professionalism into these boys. Uh, Gavin, can you take those starters and food downstairs? Yeah, just standing there and doing nothing. Five for five. There you go. Five. Thank yeah. you. Can okay, we standing there? Yeah. Open up your eyes, yeah, and get him fucking working, okay? You're running this place tonight, you know that. Yeah. You're gonna prove to her downstairs that you can do it. Yes. Yeah? Not just to her, but to yourself and me. Okay. I said no smiling, no laughing. Okay. Serious. Okay. Yes? Yeah. Let's go. She's not smiling now. Good evening. Hi. Have you had a chance to look yes. at the menu? Yeah. yeah. Downstairs, Sharita slipped effortlessly into the role of the hostess with the mostess. Any of you eat macaroni and cheese? We do. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. Gordon grated my cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's taking his first decision as the head chef. Pre-cooked buffalo wings are off the menu. From now on, they're being cooked to order. Yep. Chicken's been cooked from fresh. Nice. People already in place to turn around in 20 minutes. Well, almost. The rest of the food's going out just as Sharita's always done it. Hot food, cold plates, uninspiring salads. Right, four pounds for that. That's shocking. And jaw-breaking meatloaf. What time are we close tonight? <laughs> you laughing? Um, but let's not try to run before we can walk. Can I get this one as soon as possible? Yeah, it's going. 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 How long? Um, Give Sharita a time. Three minutes. Three, three minutes. minutes. There we are. Sure. That's right. it. I'll take that. Take that Thank you, Sharita. Yeah. Bye. OK. See All ya. Right. All right. There you go. Up. The restaurant's full. But now she's front of house. Sharita's using every trick in the book to boost business. Five minutes. So you can go sorry. right next door to my friendly pub. There you go. And I will uh, see you in five. See you in five. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Brian, move up. Two hours in, and the food's not going out quick enough. Sharita's faith in Brian is dwindling fast. These guys have been in a long time. I got kids down there. Yeah, but their starters have just gone. They've got starters. Okay. What happened there with those starters? With those starters? They're done. So we're already in the lift? Yeah. Yeah. There, Eddie, aren't they? What? These starters. What one? For this table. These ones? No, I'm doing them now. Oh, shit. I just thought that they're gone, man. For Brian, yeah. 
Three years of living in a culinary coma is a hard habit to break. He's beginning to lose it. And Sharita's constant interruptions aren't exactly helping. Come on, Brian. Don't lose it now, yeah? No. What else on this table? I need to see. What's on it? You got, you got hot, hot wings and barbecue chicken wings. I've got the hot wings. I need whatever else is there. Because they are getting restless. Oh, dear. I am so sorry. I'll tell you what the problem was. With fresh food, yeah, you can't expect the food to just jump on your plate just no, like that. We can explain that to her after. You know, chicken takes a good 14, 20 minutes to make sure that you know you don't kill anyone. Okay, has that pig feet go on? Because it needs to go on now, because it takes the time, yeah? Mm -hmm. Every minute you're in here, we're losing money. <laughs> Fucking hell. So, what do you think of that meatloaf? Bloody nice. good. Thank you. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? I thought the kitchen got off to a really good start. You were slightly nervous being mm -hmm. down there because yeah. you were sort of not spying on them, but coming up yeah. agitated. Yeah. Yeah. You lost it, Brian. A little bit, yes. A little bit. And um, things just got a little bit on Yeah. Time. You said something interesting, though. Yeah. Yeah. Trudy has to understand it's going to take three or four minutes longer because I'm cooking from raw. Mm -hmm. And the benefit is the customer. But I think this guy, yeah. with the help of AD, mm. can get faster. Yeah. Much, much faster. I mean, how would you yeah. sum up? You're in the dining room yeah, tonight. I, I, it felt good, because I'm telling you, uh -huh. for three and a half years being here, it was the first Saturday night uh -huh. that I have spent. Downstairs. downstairs. Right. They've seen you. You know, That's the face they want to see yeah. when they come to see Mama. Downstairs, I'm going to be cracking the whip a lot harder. Yeah. It's your business. Yeah. So, of course. You know, And that's what I was whip. thinking. Yeah. You know, <laughs> i got to crack it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. OK. Thank you. Good. Okay. Thank you, guys. Let me go down here Fire and finish off. seeing, because i got a few more desserts to sell. Yeah. <laughs> If Brian's going to win Sharita's respect as her head chef, he needs to become more involved in preparing the food as well as cooking it. Number 13, lucky for some. But since his hours were cut, he's been dropped in a catch-22 situation. Where's little lady on? Hey. Brian's been left holding the baby. It became a problem because Claire had to go to work. Yeah. And uh, we had to find a way of meeting uh, the, the bill at the end of the month. Yeah. You know, and that's why uh, I can't do Tuesdays and Wednesdays. The whole thing is just confused. Yeah. You know. As Brian's involvement with the food has diminished, so too has his confidence. The first time he made meatloaf two years ago, it was a disaster. So we're going to prove that Brian can not only do it, but do it better. But how much influence do you have on the menu? Even sometimes I will do a menu or something, but she changes it anyway. So really, at the end of the day, my influence disappears. But you've got to be strong now. Yes. If she's going to concentrate in the that dining room, yes. you're going to be running the kitchen. Yes. You have to be strong. Yes. Huh? Yes. Nice. The problem with Sharita's meatloaf is the bacon. By the time it's cooked, it's like cutting into leather. Thank you. The back bacon you saw dries out. There's hardly any fat in back bacon. No okay, fat, so yeah, fat, streaky bacon. Um, place one, nice, mm -hmm. fatty piece of bacon there. Mm -hmm. As it's cooking, mm -hmm. yeah, it's putting moisture exactly. inside the meatloaf. Yeah, fantastic. You know, if if I put my foot down and say no, this is like this, like that, I think I can see myself going far. You know, I can achieve things. It's a uh, it's a happy feeling, you know. It's a happy feeling. Mmm, wow. just look at them. Mm. The seasoning okay. is just right. It's mm. not too salty. It's no. just I think that's fine. It doesn't mm. need anything. Doesn't need anything else. Anything else at all. With Brian's confidence slowly returning, now I've got to work on Sharita. She excels as a natural cook and a great hostess. Oh, my God, that's everything on my menu. Sharita. <laughs> but when it comes to business, she's a self-confessed numbskull. Yeah, one and a half metres long. And this tells me the money. The money is, look how that's a bit shorter. Shorter, yeah. <laughs> we want it the other way around. I want it the other way around. Definitely. <laughs> but it's not just the takings that are the problem here. Okay. 200 grams of butter. Right. Yeah. Like a beautifully risen cake, successful restaurants only thrive when three key business factors good. are working in close harmony. Gradually adding 200 grams of flour. We establish one third staff costs, yeah. one third food costs, and one third gross profit. Combine all those ingredients into one recipe. Yeah. Chemistry. 
you have the most amazing cake. Mm -hmm. And that's how any good business works. Yeah. At the moment, Sharita's business cake What's is way cooking? off course. Okay. I'm going to show you something, what we've got currently happening here at okay. the shack. With few midweek customers, okay. Sharita's gross okay. profits are dangerously low. Very, very little oh. profit. Her food costs are reasonably healthy, but her massive overheads are crippling her. Yes. Well, I just want to show that what it's going to cost you when we start adding really high staff costs. So there's an imbalance oh already. God. Yep. <laughs> Bloody hard. Now, I'm doing this on purpose to prove a point. Yep, yep. Yeah. You can't complete a recipe for a successful business when you've got an imbalanced yeah. situation. You can tell me to fuck off, but how much do you pay yourself a month? I pay a month? Uh, to feel well, I get around 200 a week, that's it. I'm the lowest out of the kitchen. 200 pounds a week? A week, yeah. 800 pounds a, a month. month? yeah. You're working seven days a week? I'm working seven days a week. That's yeah. a fucking disgrace. I'm an 80, gets more than me some weeks. A commie chef mm. that's part-time mm -hmm. gets paid more than you. Mm -hmm. You're far too fucking soft. No, no, I you know. You really are far too soft. Mm. Well. It stops yeah. now. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That is a profitable business yeah. with the right ingredients. Uh -huh. yeah. And that is what you're currently running. Right. Have a think okay. and let me know which one you'd like to eat. Very good. Oh, I just feel like crying. <laughs> Why are you crying, Charita? Because I'm not going to lose my business. I'm nearing the end of my week in Brighton. Ah, oh, fucking bollocks. Not sure I've found my soul yet, but Brian is finally beginning to behave like a head chef. And Sharita is undergoing a transformation from mother to matron. And from now on, she'll be ruling this roost with an iron hand. This is not a drop in center. But we still have a fundamental problem a crippling lack of weekday customers. What we need is a gimmick, a bargain that will ensure the shack's full to the rafters all week long. The idea is, is to sell uh -huh. your restaurant yeah. per table. OK. OK, so a table of six. Uh -huh. Six chairs. Yep. £10 a head. Uh -huh. £60 for that table. If that worked yeah. every night at uh -huh. £10 a head, yeah. that's £360 pound yeah. in the till. Think of it this way. Yeah. They'll spend the same amount of money... On their alcohol. ..on alcohol. <laughs> My plan is to create an exciting three-course fixed buffet for each table, simplifying the service and cherry-picking from the existing menu. Simple, sexy and irresistible soul food. Look at that there for four people. Yeah. You've got a mug of soup as well, don't forget. I think it's quite sort of fresh and new. Yeah. yeah. And it sort of deformalizes the restaurant because it is soul yeah. food yeah. and it's, you know, across mm -hmm. the table. Yeah. It's yeah but I think it's, it, it also introduces everybody to a different, different taste types. of all the food. So yeah. everyone is having different mm -hmm. taste of everything. Yeah. yeah. And the idea, of course, is once they've experienced this, they come yeah. back Friday or Saturday yeah. for a full thing. Yeah. Yeah, this looks great. Good. Mm-hmm. I like it. Tonight we go live. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to be... Now you said live, you wait. I'm going to be live. It seems Sharita's well and truly sold on her new idea. Wow! OK. I just got to think of a word for tapas. I ain't going to come up with my own word. I'm going to make a word up. But I guess I can't call it slappers, because that sounds too rude. <laughs> on a normal Wednesday night, Sharita would be lucky to get eight customers. Good morning, Mama Cherry. Can I help you? But since we hit the streets three days ago, word's out and the bookings have gone through the roof. Oh, later, I'm doing probably two sittings, a 7 o'clock and a 9 o'clock sitting. So how's it looking now? Um, it's looking full. No, no, what no, day no, of the so week am I? Wednesday. When, this but, is wonderful. No, perfect. And, and 50, mm -hmm. 55 customers yeah. tonight. That's 550 pound on food. Yep. The same again. Yep. Hopefully on, on the drink. Drink. Yep. That's a thousand pound in the till. Yep. Which is equivalent to a Friday night. Take. Yeah, yeah, that's a Friday night. Show a touch of flexibility. It's a new start for the shack, and tonight every member of Sharita's staff has got to give 100%. OK, here are a set of rules that each and every one of you are now going to abide by. 
And it's not a governing rule, it's an understanding of what this business needs to go further and forward. I need everybody here on time. And on time means if I say you start at six, you get here at quarter two. That way you have your cigarettes, you get changed, you chat, you have your coffee, and so that at six o'clock, you're on the floor, okay? The next one is there is always something to do. And if you can't think of it, ask me. The queen is now in <laughs> residence. <laughs> yes, exactly. Sharita is now on the floor. Yep, that's hey. where I'm gonna be. And to confirm that, we're gonna raise the flag. Okay. Yes? All right. Okay. Okay. Sharita is back. in residence, that. yes? Here, and that's where she here. stays. Right. I want you to pull this up here together. There you go. Here. The success of Soul in a Bowl relies on doing large numbers. At only £10 a head, Sharita must fill the restaurant He's twice over. Everything prepped, yes? Are you nervous? Yeah, I am. Good, it's a good sign. Start shooting yourself. Uh... Brian, AD and Gavin have got to get those platters flying down those stairs, but they're only just peeling the last potatoes. Yeah. I'm going to send you down a tray designed for two. It comes with cornbread and soup as a starter. Soup's excellent. So I hope you enjoy it. I think you, you will. Very much. All right. Thank you. Unfortunately, we are fully booked tonight, but... It's the first Wednesday night ever they've had to turn customers away. Slightly spicy sweet potato soup. Table three, two meat tapas. OK? Just to bring them up to the warmth. Ready, Mama? Three bottles of soup. Table seven that you've got up there, it's down as three. They've had a person join them, so it's now a four. It's already looking better, but tonight it's got to be perfect. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Take the fucking bowl off the tray. Put it in the bowl, yeah. I still want all this shit on here everywhere. Yeah, I want it nice and clean. Fucking clean, come on. Yeah. And for the first time this week, Brian's not smiling. That looks lovely. Well done. Right, vegetarian, please, Eddie, send it away. So now we're looking for a four soup and a three soup. Four cornbread, three cornbread. Gavin, you're taking care of the uh, desserts. Uh -huh. Yeah? Chicken. The team is pulling together. Can you, can you put a small, just a bowl of uh, veggie jambalaya on it? Like two desserts, I And then the big one is going to have uh, the meat. So it's really, come on, we've got a pump. If we slow down, I'm going to lose it. Communication is much, much better. Can I get a timing on some of these so I can tell them? Five minutes. Five minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Be on all of them. OK. Keep it going, Brian. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 80, yes? Yeah. Uh, 80 long. So far, so good, yeah? You're doing a good job. If they can keep it going, we might just pull this one off. They said they are stuffed. It was delicious. All of the different flavours that go with it, fully satisfied. I'm going to take them some dessert. You see that? Empty bowls. How was the soup? Good? Yes? Yeah? All right. Things okay. must be going OK because we've hardly seen her in the kitchen all night. Are we starting to turn the tables now? I'm starting to turn, but I've got to get this is a crucial thing out. at £10 a head. Yes. We have to turn I've those to tables, turn. Yeah? So can we do two trays at the same time? Is it possible? We can. Yeah? Now the pressure's really on. We're losing. Come on, let's get some organisation, guys. Come on. It's still not perfect. A table's called away. You stick that ticket on the tray. No one touches it. But the vibe up here has definitely got more professional. We're losing valuable time, man. What are you doing? Nice, yeah. We're two minutes over. How's it feeling up here? Hot. Hot. Pumping. <laughs> Can't quite believe I'm saying this, but I think Brian's actually breaking a sweat. Good guys, looking good. They're loving it. People are loving it. Very tasty. Very good food. Nice I haven't eaten anything quite like this before, and it's really nice. Fucking well done. Yeah, really good. Yeah. That's one day. The real work starts tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. Let's go. I didn't know how much I was going to cope today, you know? I didn't know if I was going to cope or break, basically, but I just one thought in my mind is to get through this. Thursday morning, and the whole team are in early. you got to get that well going. They're clean out of food stocks and fully booked tonight. So they're starting completely from scratch. It's my kitchen, my kitchen, my kitchen. Fresh home cooking straight from the soul. Hallelujah. Can I just say, you set me a target. Yes. When I spoke to you last night, we hadn't reached that target. 800 pound last night. Yeah. I asked for a thousand When pound. I cashed up, I hit 1,000. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, it was 1,080. Fantastic. Yep. And these two, yeah. They did it. <laughs> yes, got the future together. success of Mama Cherries depends on Brian's strength and commitment more than anybody's. 
You really pissed me off this week, you know that? Yes. I felt really bad after, especially yesterday, when I realised that I haven't been really sort of... It's like I didn't care almost. I just thought when I first saw you in the kitchen, you were treating it like a job, no passion. But last night, it came back and I could feel it. You are the head chef. chef. Yes. Yes. So act like the head chef. Yes. Take responsibilities of the head chef. Yes. yes. Get a grip, wake up, and fucking stop dreaming. Yeah. And, and I think Sharita knows plan. what she yeah. must do. You are the most marketable asset mm -hmm. yeah. of this okay. restaurant. Yeah, well, I'm you... going to be selling myself now. I'm now, out of that kitchen. Understand. Just... Kitchen morning, AM, yep. hosting the room and being present in yeah. the evening. Yep. You have got That's to it. continue that. I will do. Then I've got to take some control back. Since my last visit, Charita's soul in the bowl has made Mama Sherry's one of Brighton's biggest success stories. Her reputation is just um, phenomenal. Um, she's in and out of uh, newspapers um, and constantly on uh, radio and television. So um, if she's got that level of attention, then she's got to make sure what's coming out of that kitchen is better than it was two years ago. Six months ago, Mama Sherry moved out of the shack and upgraded to a new restaurant around the corner. I just hope she's sticking to the advice I gave her. Fuck me. Mama Sherry's big house. Look at the size of that. How many floors is it on? One, two, three, four, five floors. Fuck it. He's got a lot of drinks here. Hi, guys. Hi, baby. Oh, look at you. <laughs> What? Look you? at the size of this place. Oh my know, God. I know. Oh, it's five floors. It. I know. This is the first mega soul food restaurant. Unbelievable. So, first floor is what? Come here. Can I show you? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm dying right, to see it. Follow my me. God. Follow me. Oh. Mega, she's not kidding. This place is triple the size of the shack. So, the question is is Sharita managing to fill her big house? We're coming up to the beginning of December. Yeah, and I've got And people are booking for March. For March. And That's extraordinary. <laughs> do you know we're doing a thousand covers in a week? We average between 900 and 1200 a week here. That's what we're. Averaging. I'm impressed. Unbelievable. She has taken her restaurant to the next level, but the first year of expansion is a really dangerous time for any business. So I only hope that Shrita has got a tight hold of the reins. Hello. Hi guys. Where's my man? Where is he? Hello. How many chefs are in here? Hello. This place is certainly well staffed. Brian's heading up the kitchen, ad has gone, and Sharid has taken on a whopping nine extra chefs. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ almighty. How have you been? Uh, busy. I, I, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's been cooking for the whole of Britain upstairs. So far we are, yes. I can't wait to tuck into some soul food. I insisted everything at the shack was cooked from scratch, so Brian better be sticking to my fresh food regime. I'm dying to see what you've got in the freezer. Same as it was before, just... just... What's that? That is a... Uh... Lasagna? Yeah. That's a... Uh... Crumble? No, 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 that's not crumble. That's a uh, peach cobbler. Sorry, peach cobbler then. Yeah. I'm dying to sleep inside. You know what I'm like? Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. The signs aren't good. What are they in there? I know where I go. There's, like, food everywhere. Where are these from? They've just been cooked. Very What's that in there? That's the ribs. They just came out. They're cooling. Oh, no, look, there's another fucking tray of chicken. Are they in order? It's like a fast food okay, joint in hey, here. Man. All that's missing oh, is a family bucket Nobody and a litre of Coke. Okay, another box of chicken wings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When I first met you, there was two and three of you in the kitchen. It had that nice intimacy, hearty feel that everyone was passionate, from a meatloaf to a fucking chicken wing, and it, it, it just got done, you know, done in a way that everyone really cared for what they were doing. Two years on, and from what I can see, the soul's gone from this kitchen. Right. Have a taste of that. Catfish goujons. That was the first dish I ever tasted in the shack. The size of the fucking thing. Fuck it. Come here a minute, let me show you something. Yeah. yeah? What is that? Are we charging customers for that? While someone wants to boast to me about being fully booked to next fucking March, I feel like ringing them and saying, don't bother fucking coming next March, because I don't think we'll be fucking ready in time. 
Who's controlling that? Where's our standards gone? Just, where's the passion gone? What the fuck are we doing? Get that shit in the bin. Everything in the fucking bin. Now. Holy fuck. This is a nightmare. The kitchen can't cope, and I've gone back to their bad ways of pre-preparing food to cater for the huge demands of the new restaurant. Right now, going after that, you're crying my fucking heart out. This is shit. You're right, it is shit. I'm really sorry. I know it's shit. I fucking love the shack. I know. And this is painful. Take 10 minutes outside, get some fresh air. That is upsetting. I could almost fucking cry because we were so there. The shack was renowned for its food. It wasn't the decor, it was the food that got that lady on the map. This place might be packed now, but I don't believe this food will have people coming back for more. I wonder what the customers really think. I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest. I kind of, with all the reputation Mama Cherry's got, I just thought it was all very bland and very small portions. Up till now, no flavor, no flavor. You need more, more spices. If the customers aren't happy, Sharita can kiss her business goodbye. I can't believe she's turned her back on soul in a bowl. This is not you. Mm -hmm. I've known yeah. for a long time where you, you've yeah. come from yeah, yeah. and what you've tasted yeah, and what yeah. you stand yeah, for. Yeah. Yeah. This here is yeah. not you. Mm -hmm. I arrived. I didn't even want to eat. Mm -hmm. Don't take that personally. Take it as brutal fucking honesty. Yep. I know what you're capable of doing. Yep. Mm -hmm. If this food mm -hmm. isn't as good as the shack, yeah. you're fucking history. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow morning, bright and early, you're running your brigade and you're putting the soul Back in. Back in the bowl. Yep, it will be. I'm surprising myself at how upset I am because I really thought that we were moving up. I really, really, really did. And now I've been like slapped in the face and like, open your eyes, open your eyes. You know, I still got a long way to go. I've got to get back tomorrow morning on track and get them back in love with what they're doing. I arrived in Brighton yesterday to visit one of my biggest kitchen nightmare successes. Oh, look at you. <laughs> but two years on, it's taken a turn for the worst. Where's the passion gone? What the fuck are we doing? Shrita's business has expanded, but in order to meet the demands of a massive new restaurant, she's let standards slip. I am so worried she's heading for the rocks, I've decided to stay on. Good, Good morning. morning. How are you? Um, I've been better. But You've been it's all better. Right. It's all right. I'm all right. Right I now, know. I see a lady that's panicking. <sighs> You're taking every fucking customer that's walking in that door, and you've got to stop it. OK. Got to stop it. OK. You're in danger of becoming a fast food outlet. I know, and I don't want to be and there. that's going to last That's not what I am. Months. That's not what I am. You're fucking better than I'm a not, fast food thank outlet. You. And you're right. I have taken my eye off the ball. Hands up. But he's back on it. OK. Let's We're go on downstairs. It. We're on it. Where's Brian? He's in the kitchen. He's working. And I told him he's With less bookings, the kitchen will have a fighting chance of getting back the high standards I left at the shack. But Brian has never run a big team before, and I've now got to get him to step up to the mark. With such little time, the only thing I can do now is just get some discipline in that kitchen. It's embarrassing. Brian has got to fucking run that kitchen and put some soul back into the food. All right, uh, last night, guys, uh, I have to say... Uh, was great. Yeah, we we survived. Right, stop, 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 stop. Let's let, 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 let's cut the crap. That's the problem. Find your bollocks for me. Last night was shit. They've got to stop preparing food in advance. Yes, right now, good. I want Brian and his team I to prove to me they can make this house special from scratch. They've got 25 minutes timing. to do it. I want soul in the bowl, five fucking bowls, and I'm going to follow you. Okay. Now, find your fucking bollocks oh, and start yeah. running this fucking kitchen before we're running to the ground. Just keep all the rubbish and anything Good. that's not supposed to be in the way clear so we can see we can see what we're doing. Yeah. Catfish, nicely done, yes? This food was designed to be cooked to order. It's a no-brainer. Five soul in a bowl. Just don't put it in there, man. Jesus. Brian can step up to the mark, but he obviously just needs someone to give him a kick up the arse. Hey, they're not even, they're not even cooking with salt now. No seasoning in there. Okay. Freshly cooked chicken, 
That's what I came here for. Bring it together. As a team, bring it together. One minute to go. Right. All of you, come here. First of all, yeah, it looks better than last night already. I haven't even started tasting it yet, yeah? Look at the goujons. Yeah. It's appetizing, they're fruitful, yes? The soul's back in this kitchen, and Brian's taking control of his team. That's the most assertive I've heard you since I met you. That's the only way to run your kitchen. As long as Brian ditches the pre-prepared food and keeps cooking from fresh, the food here will be back on top form. And for this business to survive, Sharita must keep a tighter hold on the reins. There's one issue I want to clear up today. OK. OK. You can't take both feet out of the kitchen. No, One of those no. has got to go back in there. Gordon's right. I've got to have my foot back in there, and I will be back in there in terms of supporting you. Not taking over, but supporting you. You two yep. is where it all started. Nobody else. And it's only you two that's going to make this place fucking seriously right. successful. Right. No matter how busy you are, mm, you've mm. got to make time for each other. It's like yeah. a married fucking couple. I couldn't do without you, and you know it. <laughs> you know it. You know it. And you know I can't do without you. You know this. But I need you to be strong. You know, me and Brian, we're the foundation. And, you know, and like I said, to me, if you have a good, strong foundation, even if you have to knock the house all the way down to the bottom again, you can build it back up. So if Gordon's come back and he's disappointed with my food, then now I know where I got to work on and it's getting my food back to where it was. Right now, Sharita and Brian have got a real chance to prove they can do it. It's lunch service and I'm hungry. How's that? Mm. <laughs> you know, just now, yeah. looking at it, tasting it, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm back in the fucking shack. Good. <laughs> I didn't feel like that last night. Yeah. And Brian's even come up with a new dish, lamb cutlets with a beetroot salsa. In terms of the beetroot mm -hmm. and the onion, delicious. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. Uh, uh, are you just, Is that it, on the menu? No, it's not it, yet. It will be. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in the shack. Great, great. Mm. That was delicious. Mm. Don't stop moonwalking. No, yes? Go so you go in. It's yeah. not easy to grow your business, I should know. But if Sharita keeps her eye on the ball and manages this place properly, I know she can make it work. It's fucking tough. It's tough love, and uh, I'm going to leave him to it now. But I'm glad she's fucking woken up, because she needs to. It's been a long time for me. Yeah, I know. Yeah? I want you to go up there uh -huh. and moonwalk back here, all right. the way down. Oh, right, hey, okay. Just, <laughs> hey, just to make sure that she really slides on there. That's the one thing. Just more, in case. Wait, more, wait, 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 wait. Wait, hey. <laughs> wait, hey. It's a been two more. years. It's yeah. been two years. <laughs> Get in there. How you doing?